All right, all right. I'm behind schedule. I know. I'm. I'm just trying to play some Mecha Robot Golf. Let's be real here. Wait. What month is it? Oh no. It's May, which means it's in sync month. I'm all ready for it with with in sync cassettes, in sync DVD making the tour. But it's not gonna be May until I play in sync. Get to the show on the Game Boy Color. So let's sink our teeth into it. By popular demand, we have in sync get to the show on Game Boy Color, a game everyone asked for on a console that definitely does not primarily have shovelware. You start it up and you're greeted by glorious in sync, complete with a song that I'm pretty certain is not a song from their catalog. I mean, if you can distinguish that as a song by the band, then feel free to correct me, but I don't recognize it. I am quite the InSync super fan. You're greeted by a dialogue from the man who destroyed MySpace himself, Justin Timberlake, and God, this dude talks slow. Hi there, you're our number one fan, and that's why we're putting you in charge. You have the keys to our limo and where really psyched to have you with us so let's get going it's up to you to get us to the concert ah so the lore is that you the player are in sync's number one fan and like i said previously i am indeed a super fan and i don't think they truly appreciate how big of a fan i truly am because instead of just gracing me with their iconic music they make me do grunt work for them like true diva pop stars should they give you the keys to their limo and it's your job to be in sync's chauffeur and get them to the concert first things first though they need to go to the hotel. Now, the driving segment of this game is, it's, it's something else. It's playable, sure, but you're driving on like sort of a grid. And while driving them, the band members constantly ask you to make pit stops so they can run errands such as buy flowers or mail a card. I always seem to overshoot to destinations when I finally see them on screen, and you can't just back up if you miss it, unfortunately. Well, too bad. You, you aren't mailing your card or buying flowers today boys it's like taking young children on a road trip where they just want to stop at every fun looking place they see along the way after this nightmare of a road trip you wind up at the hotel where the band needs to get some sleep fair enough that's what hotels are for but apparently despite being one of the biggest musical acts of the time they could only afford a very trashy hotel where there's all sorts of noises to wake them up Either that or they're the lightest sleepers on earth. It's basically a very shallow puzzle game where you press A to shut up noisy things and B to put the band members back to sleep. I'm not sure how you put them back to sleep, but I suppose you could let imagination be your guide on that one. I'm not going there. The mini game is incredibly easy, maybe even too easy, but it's just bizarre to me on so many levels. I mean, after all, you're how are you ceasing the noise from all these sources? You're quieting babies, adults, phones, and TVs that are somehow sentient, and even dogs. I really hope you aren't harming any of these things. I don't want to hurt any people. I don't want to hurt the dog. And CRD TV should be preserved because of how well they play old video games such as In Sync Get to the Show on Game Boy Color. After you complete it, it starts you on round two. Oh yeah, there's more than one round just in case playing through this one time wasn't tedious enough. And no, it's not just two rounds, it's five. Now sure, each round is only about a minute long, but it felt like way longer as I was playing it. It just dragged on. It's almost like on top of driving them around to run errands, you also have to pull an all-nighter to ensure the best night's sleep for the band members. After your sleepless night, you hit the road again. 
I don't think I should be driving considering I didn't get any sleep last night because I was too busy destroying telephones so that Justin Timberlake could catch some Z's. But here I am driving their limo. This time around, they're hungry and they want you to take them to a burger joint while, of course, making stops for them along the way. Justin Timberlake, you ungrateful piece of sh they seem even needier than before, wanting to go to the movies, to shoot hoops, among other things. I mean, it's not long until you get the burger craze, the fictional restaurant in the in-sync extended universe, and get food. And no, of course these high maintenance folks don't go to a normal fast food joint like Wendy's. You have to control the band members and make the burgers of their choosing. And apparently this place is notorious for having ingredients rain down from the ceiling and you just capture the stuff you want for the burger and you do this for every member too picture just picture kaboom for the atari 2600 only it features members of nsync and it's totally unplayable that's what you got here and then you just got justin telling you to drive them around again awesome burger making those were the ultimate burgers let's get back on the road and head to the concert the driving is the same as before. Typical stuff. I don't need to explain this every single time. Going bowling instead of getting to the show on time. The usual. These fellas run on punk time, it seems. And Justin seems very excited when you finally arrive at the show. It informs you of the good luck ritual that the band does before every show that they do. And wait, what? Kick the sack? That's not very nice, Justin. I disapprove. Okay, so as it turns out, you're not playing as Joey Fatone kicking people in the testicles or something. It's just what they call hacky sacking. Great choice of words, my dude. You could have called it hacky sack. You could have called it kick bag. There's so many names for it, but no, you had to call it kick the sack. Basically, it's a top-down view of all five of them, and you need to complete a full hack circle before you get to the next round. Now, what's a full hack circle? Basically, that's when you're hacky sacking and every single person in the circle gets to kick it at least once before it hits the ground. So you have to have each member hit it at least once, and you have five rounds because each member has to serve it at least once. Now, I used to play this in high school, but man, I was way better than these jokers. I'm, I'm the hacky sack master, you can ask anyone. So after completing a full hack circle, like I said, you go to the next round. But sadly, the controls are very weird in this, and I don't quite get it. It sort of reminds me of the mattress bouncing game in Chicken Run, where there is definitely a rhythm to it, but it's an annoying offbeat rhythm that I don't quite get. I don't know how I winged it, but I did eventually perform the full hack five times. Talk about filler content. After that, you finally get to see NSYNC perform live. A dream of mine if there was any. But of course, they make you work for it. You have to control the lights and what song they play apparently while they perform. None of which sound like any song from their discography that I've ever heard in my life. After this concert, Justin finally gives me a shout out live on stage. and. Justin, can you please tell everyone to subscribe as well? Thanks, buddy. NSYNC is absolutely a bizarre experience. I probably wouldn't wish on anybody, but damn it, it's NSYNC and NSYNC rules. So it's definitely something worth checking out if you like really bizarre Game Boy Color shovelware. But the game is so short and I feel bad leaving with so little. So why don't we take a look at Britney stance beat while the Game Boy Advance is readily available. It's Britney, bitch! Here we go. The game that everyone bought a Game Boy Advance for. The game also saw a release on the PS2, but what fun is that? I want to get spicy here. Now, let's get real. It's literally just a basic rhythm game where you press the A button at the correct time. As you watch a terrifying but arguably graphically impressive Britney Spears, at least I think that's Britney Spears, Dance to the beat while you listen to her music. Although my thumb is killing me after just one song. But on the plus side, it has Oops I Did It Again. Time for a montage.
right. Now it's time to play Stronger by Britney Spears. That song is a gem. God, it uses the B button too. My thumb is gonna hate me for this. All right, so I played in sync. Get to the show on Game Boy Color. So now I can finally listen to No Strings Attached on cassette. Huh. I've been proven wrong.